Once, there was no adequate way to replace damaged or missing teeth. Fortunately, this is no longer the case. In fact, modern techniques have advanced to such an extent that replacement teeth are now quite serviceable and lifelike in appearance. Today, many people don't even realize that close friends are wearing complete dentures. A complete denture is the name of the replacement for either all natural upper or lower teeth. A denture can be designed to resemble the desirable features of a patient's natural teeth and gums to help maintain or even improve personal appearance. Replacement teeth give proper support to help retain the natural shape of the face. Teeth are also needed to form certain sounds for speaking distinctly. At the same time, a denture provides for the vital function of chewing, thus encouraging good nutrition. So when natural teeth become badly worn, diseased, or out of alignment, dentures can bring decided improvement. The two parts of a denture are the porcelain or plastic teeth and the plastic gums. The design and materials prescribed for your denture will be based on your own personal needs. The tooth color chosen from the shade selector should complement your hair and eye color and your skin tone. To make the denture natural looking, the teeth should not be overly white, since few people have extremely white teeth. In designing your denture, an impression is first taken of the shape of your own teeth and gums, and later of the jawbone ridge which gave support to your natural teeth. How well your denture will fit and stay in place depends a great deal on the shape and height of your bony ridge, which will also support your new teeth. Since no two mouths are exactly alike, no two dentures or their results are identical. Keep in mind that dentures can never fully replace healthy teeth. However, when dentures are used as instructed, they can fulfill your dental needs. Frequently, patients are able to avoid going without teeth while the gums heal by receiving what are called immediate dentures. You will be advised if immediate dentures can be prescribed in your particular case. In this procedure, the front teeth are usually kept in place while the back teeth are removed and the gums allowed to heal. Then the front teeth are removed and the new denture is put in place during the same office visit. You may be surprised to learn that an immediate denture actually helps protect the gums while they're healing. But while the jawbone ridge and the gums heal, they become smaller, causing the denture fit to loosen. Sometimes the denture is then cushioned with a soft, non-absorbent material to adjust to these healing changes. After the healing period is over, the immediate denture itself will have to be refitted or remade. Even so, an immediate denture does allow the patient to maintain his appearance during the transitional healing period. Whether you receive your dentures immediately or after all tissues have healed, there will be a necessary period of adjusting to the dentures. At first, you will probably feel a fullness of your cheeks and lips and a crowding of your tongue. Also, your saliva flow will increase. But these sensations usually pass in a short time. By being patient and wearing your dentures as instructed, you will learn to use your new teeth. The more you want to learn, the easier your adjustment will be to your dentures. For a while, some new denture wearers find it difficult to speak clearly. By reading aloud or talking before a mirror for a few minutes each day, your speech will return to normal. As for eating, you should begin with a soft diet of easy-to-chew, non-sticky foods. Within a few weeks, you should be able to return to eating most foods. Even after the gums have healed, you should continue to take small bites and to chew gently and thoroughly. Be sure to chew with your back teeth and try to place food equally on both sides. Take care not to swallow large pieces of food. Remember. Proper chewing will take longer. 
Also, the usual way of biting handheld foods, such as sandwiches, will dislodge most dentures. People with natural teeth bite into such food and hold onto it with their front teeth, then pull on the food with their hands to break off a mouthful. Instead, a person with complete dentures should push the food against a biting edge of the teeth at the corner of the mouth. Next, bring the teeth together, biting completely through the food. There will be a few foods which will continue to cause problems for some denture wearers, such as corn on the cob, raw vegetables, and hard fruits. You may still eat these foods, but it may be helpful if corn is cut off the cob and vegetables and hard fruits are cooked or cut into small pieces. Despite some difficulties, you should soon learn to use your dentures and wear them successfully. Caring for your dentures to keep them in good, clean condition is important for the health of your mouth and for a pleasant appearance. Use lukewarm water, for hot water can warp dentures. You should clean your dentures and your mouth after every meal and before you retire to keep them clean and odor-free. Since dentures are breakable, you should always clean them over a basin filled with water. Then if you accidentally drop them, the water will cushion the fall. Clean the denture with a soft denture brush and a denture cleaner or a mild soap. Remember, though, that a hard brush or a cleaner that is too abrasive can cause damage. If cleaning is not possible after meals, at least try to rinse off your dentures. If brushing is the usual cleaning method used, a soaking method should also be used occasionally, for dentures gradually absorb odor-causing moisture. A denture solution or even full-strength vinegar can also remove troublesome stains caused by food, drink, or smoke. Each morning, rinse and brush your mouth thoroughly. Remember, your gums must also be cleaned, since food will collect on them under the dentures. Any time the dentures are not in your mouth, keep them in cool water, for dryness can cause the plastic to shrink. While your mouth is getting used to your new dentures, there will be some discomfort. In fact, new dentures usually need several adjustments as the gums adapt and change shape. As the dentures settle, they will cause sore spots to develop, for there is no way to determine beforehand the final shape the gums will take. When a sore spot does develop, it indicates that your dentures need adjusting, so call the office. If you are unable to come in right away, you will be advised about removing the dentures to rest the mouth. If denture removal is advised, put them back in several hours before your dental appointment so the sore spot will show. The exact area of irritation must be seen to determine the denture area involved. Please take note, if at any time your dentures need adjustment or become damaged, never try to repair or reline them yourself you could damage your dentures. Never wear dentures if they are damaged, for the change could injure your mouth. Never use home remedies on a sore spot. And with loosely fitting dentures, never use drugstore adhesive creams or powders unless prescribed. Instead, arrange for an appointment to have the dentures repaired or adjusted properly. There are a few problems which may cause some patients to have difficulties with their dentures. The shape of the gum ridge limits the ability of a denture to stay in place. The habit of clenching one's teeth should be avoided, in addition to any other excessive or unnecessary pressure on the jaws, such as gum chewing. This is because undue pressure on the gum ridges causes them to shrink faster than they normally would. The more the ridges shrink, the less secure the denture fit will be. Even if you have no special problems, you should keep in mind that the gum ridges supporting your denture will continue to shrink naturally. 
For this reason, dentures cannot be made to last a lifetime. Since this gradual shrinking process is not noticeable, many people put off having a checkup for so long that refitting is no longer helpful and new dentures must be made. This causes a needless loss of time and money. So even if you no longer have any natural teeth, you will continue to need periodic checkups to help maintain the health of your gum ridges and the fit and alignment of your dentures. Remember that your future success in wearing dentures depends largely on your willingness to follow professional advice. By following instructions, you will soon eat most foods, feel comfortable, and have a pleasant natural appearance. And it is so reassuring to know how natural complete dentures can be made to look today. People need not be aware that you are wearing replacements unless you want to let them know.